Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we implemented a feature to delete records in bulk using jQuery and Ajax. We allowed users to select record or the books. Uh, why books? Because I'm using the book model in this application. So that's why I'm preferring the records with the books. Okay. So we allowed users to select books to be deleted using checkboxes. And once users select at least one book or one checkbox, then we displayed the delete book button. And after clicking on that button, we are sending an Ajax request to the rails to delete the selected books okay in this lecture we will finish the remaining work by updating the book index page on browser by removing the deleted book record from the dom and we will do this using template rendering okay for example uh, let me refresh the page and here you can see that uh, for example i am selecting the first book that is the power of positive thinking okay and now let's uh, come to the terminal and here you can see that my server is running and if i click on the delete books button you can see that the request is coming to the rails controller and book has been deleted from the database as well but to uh, see the remaining books and skip this deleted book from the browser what i need to do that i need to refresh the page every time okay that means our ajax is working but it is not rendering any response or any template in the response okay and we need to update the dom after performing the ajax with the same action okay in this lecture we will finish that remaining work and this will give you an idea of how to render a template when you send the request using ajax or in js format so just open the books controller and here you can see the action name so just switch to the sublime and here you can see that what action name i have taken that is bulk delete books okay so i will use a tab i will create a template for this action in the js format so my template name would be like bulk delete books dot js dot erb and i will create this uh, template into the app use books directory okay and one thing that you need to remember that if your request is coming in the html format then template must be created as dot html dot erb format if the request is coming into the turbo stream format then template must be created as dot turbo stream dot erb uh, extension or if it is coming in the js format then you need to use the js dot erb or, or if it is in text format then your template must return dot text dot erb and the text erb we usually found when we generate the mailer through the console okay uh, but now here we will create the js dot erb so just copy the section name and we need to create our file so in the views books what you can do create a new file and save this file as bulk delete books dot js dot sorry js dot erb okay now since we need to delete the selected books by user that means once the delete operation has been performed on the rails controller we need to remove the selected table rows from the dom and to do this we need an identifier each table row okay but if you look into the book index page now then you see for example open this books index.html now here you can see that we do not have any identifier that uh, this table row belongs to which book okay so now we need to add a table identifier or a table row identifier for every table row okay and with this identifier or selector class or id we will remove we will uh, remove the table row from the dom okay so let's add the identifier to this every table row inside the loop okay in the last lecture i i already explained that how you can provide the unique id to an element in the loop okay so let's provide id and the id you can use it like a book row book row and then just provide uh, the book id here okay so you can provide book dot id okay now save the file and come to the browser and refresh the page okay and when you refresh the page you can uh, inspect each table row and you can find here that every table row now has a unique column a unique id that is book row 2 book row 3 book row 4 5 6 7 10 and so on okay and these unique ids will help us in removing these deleted books from the dom okay now we need to work on bulk delete book.js.erb template okay so just switch to the sublime and here you can see that this is our js.erb template and here we simply need to loop through the array of book ids that we are getting into the params in the ajax request and you can see that in the books controller that what params we are getting in the ajax that that is params book ids okay so just copy this param name and here we'll 
loop through this param so we can just use our each iterator here so param book ids dot each do okay and then just add a loop variant here that is book id okay and now just end this iterator and now inside this iterator what we need to do we need to remove the selected table row okay and we will use the remove method that is the jquery method we can use to remove an element from the dom okay so here you can see okay so book row book underscore row underscore and then this book id and then simply use the remove method by the jquery okay and here just again verify that why we are using this dollar hash book underscore row underscore book id because we provided this identifier in the table row okay so now just come to the bulk delete books dot js dot trb template and save this and now go to the browser and refresh the page okay so first close this inspect element and refresh the page so when you click any book for example let's check the atomic habits and si sorry select the atomic habits and you can see the delete books button is appearing now and when you click on the delete books button you can see that the atomic habits is removed from the dom immediately after we send the ajax and you can see that uh, the book is delete from the database as well okay and if you want to uh, refresh the page you can refresh the page and you can see that the button is appearing not anymore here okay and if you uh, click on this okay and these two books and when you send the delete books button you can see that all the books has been deleted from the dom as well but you can see one thing that uh, all the books that we selected has been removed from the dom and deleted from the database as well and if even if we do not have any checkbox selected we are still seeing this delete books button so what we can do we can hide this button from our template render file okay so here you can see we can use the line that we used to hide the delete books button so we can use this line in our js.erv file okay so now it will hide the delete books button as well okay so just uh, refresh the page okay and uh, remove this you can book and when you send the delete book you will see that our dom is updated correctly we removed the table we removed the delete button from the dom okay now our ajax is working fine okay so what we did so far that we are selecting some books or some records and we uh, sending an ajax request to the rails controller and what the rails controller is doing that it is deleting all the selected records from the database and our js template is being rendered here and it is updating the dom by removing the deleted records from the dom table and it also uh, hiding the delete books button as well okay and that's it this is what we wanted from this lecture so in this lecture we sorry in the next lecture we will work more with jquery to update the delete button text we will display there like uh, how many books user want to delete for example if you select uh, select a checkbox here so what you see that we are seeing the delete books but in the next lecture we will update this button text like uh, delete one book delete two books delete three books delete four books and so on okay but we will do this part in the next lecture meanwhile please try this lecture at your end if you want to match your work with the example uh, i shared in this lecture you can check out the video description and there i will share the commit for the work i did in this lecture okay so thanks for watching this and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe